Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, what, what we will do, we'll try to build a system that predicts how a customer will feel about a product before they even ordered it. This is a customer satisfaction system which 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 evaluates the which which tells us how well the customers are satisfied and we'll be building this end to end this will be a production grade project and that will be made using zenml we'll see lots of functionalities of zenml and and then we'll see some of the inter cool integrations of zenml so zenml is an mlops tool which we are going to use to build a full machine learning uh, end-to-end -end machine learning project and you can put this in your and then you can try it out with other different use cases using ZNML. So what is the problem statement? The problem statement is for a given historical data of the customer you will need to predict the review score for the next order or purchase. So basically you are given the input product details and then the model processes those 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 details and then you get the satisfactory score whether whether that customer is satisfied or not so basically the satisfactory score is between one to five so basically what what does it mean it's a regression framed problem so basically it's a regression frame problem so let's say you give the product details and then it processes the details and output whether whether the person whether the satisfactory rate is 1.4 or maybe 2.5 or maybe 3.6 whatever right so the, this is the basically the problem statement is this is not a classification problem this is a regression problem and 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 your output range is constrained between one to five so we have made a demo of this application using Streamlit, and 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 I want to make make a main focus of this uh, video on what what we had done using Xenomel, which is really cool. So basically, what we did. So here is the pipeline of the, of of our whole machine. Uh, this this end to end machine learning pro system um, using Xenomel, and Xenomel makes it super easy to do all of these things as compared to other MLOps tools. So basically, over here, you have a data ingester. So over here, what it does, it ingests the data, right? Ingests the data from the source, right? And then it cleans the data, right? So whatever, whatever it ingested the data, it cleans the data. And then we have something called a strainer, which is a model which trains our model using the cleaned data or the processed data. And, and then we evaluate that trained model, okay? And then, and then we have something called as, uh, and then after evaluating the deployment triggers, and if that that evaluation matrix, so we'll we'll be getting the accuracy right from the ev evaluation. If that accuracy is minimum enough to go in production, then it redeploys the model, and then the model is served as a service. And then we have something called as data tools, like data application, like Streamlit. That's that data application, like Streamlit, which which we can inference using Streamlit. And this is this uh, this continuously updates the model. Say for example, this whatever the Streamlit application which we have, which we had built is is taking your your model in, in in simple in simpler words, is taking your service or or us or giving you predictions from your latest latest model service so basically it's not that any tr any old trained model it's basically using the latest trained model service over here. okay so this is what we had done this is a crucial part which i want to highlight so basically this is a continuous deployment and inference pipeline so basically the inference pipeline what it does it continuously uh, takes the pipeline so basically it takes the service say for example you you given the product details so it will fetch the service right it, it, it will fetch the service from this whole pipeline and then give it to you your prediction so basically this is what you what 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 we have done using streamlet so what i'm going to show is the uh, is the demo of the streamlet application so that it will be more excited so basically over here we have end-to-end -end customer satisfaction with uh, pipeline with zenml and and i have deployed in locally where it is not actually uh, uh, i would say <coughs> Uh, where where it is kind of uh, updated on streamlit but i suggest you to follow all these steps to follow all these steps over here to follow all these steps and then what to do uh, after following all these steps run your stream streamlit application by your own rather than this website right because we are not continuously updating our model but you can do lots of things over here you can add your uh, other data as well and lots of tweaks which you can do in this project Right. So basically, this is the problem statement. The problem statement is to predict the customer satisfaction score for a given order uh, based or feature like order status. 
price or payment, right? So basically these are your problem statements. So if anyone jumps in uh, and as a new user, they can understand. We have these features given as an input. So basically these features are given as an input and then we have, and then a user can enter into enter their values over here and then they can click, click on predicts and then you get a result what's how well the customer will be satisfied given these measurements. And then we have results. I have put in over here. We have how, what are the importance of every feature over here? What's the what's the score which you got from Light, Light GVM or XG Boost or boosting models? You can try several models as well. It's stored to totally upon you. We have just given you a baseline to work on, and this is an end to end project, so you can build upon that. So basically, over here, over here, so what exactly it is doing? What exactly it is doing? It is simply, let me make you understand what exactly it is doing. It's simply, uh, updating the it's simply updating the new model as a service and then using that latest model uh, then and again from the service using that latest model and then even and then uh, use that model to make prediction and that's what that's that's what you have integrated our data application like streamlet in our application so I hope that th this time application makes sense please go to our readme to uh, to see our code I'll just give you a brief uh, brief uh, outline of uh, outline so we have yet made use of the e-commerce public data set by Olist. I have just manipulated and made a very fairly simple data set given the some some features and a column which is of review score. Okay, you can see the data which which I made in your data folder in the project. So we'll be using XenML. So XenML, as I told, it's an it's an MLOps tool which takes which takes all the M MLOps framework like ML for integration, Airflow, Qflow, etc and aggregate in, 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 in a way so that you can use it in your MLOps stack, right? So basically over here, you have, you have several steps like ingest data, clean data, model train, and evaluation. And you have, and then each step over here has its own functionalities. And these things are greatly written in your readme as well as we have documented code very well. You can go on a blog as well to learn more. But be, this is the basic step which is self-explanatory. So why will be using XenML? As I told, XenML is an amazing MLOps framework. What it does, why I'm seeing amazing, I can't just, just stamp that. The reason why I'm seeing amazing, it's, it's, it's super simple, first of all, I, 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 I would say. And second one is, it, it takes all, the, whatever the tools available in the world, most, most, of the tool, most of the important tool, and aggregates in a very simple way, aggregates in a, in, in, in a, in, in a framework, and then we can use those with connecting e with each other in our MLOps stack, like MLflow, Qflow, Airflow, Seldon into Seldon Core, or or, or Qflow de deployment, or MLflow tracking, MLflow deployment, right? Weights and bias into integrations, hugging faces the integrations, and a lot more, right? So please we visit our XML GitHub to learn more. So, so basically we have implemented a traditional training pipeline, which makes use of XenML pipeline, and then it makes us use of that. And then for experiment tracking, we'll be using MLflow integration. And then we have something called as deployment pipeline, which, which simply it ingests and processes the data and trains the model and then redeploys the model as I said in, in the starting. So here's the pipeline, as you can see over here. So, so our continuous deployment pipeline would simply ingest the data, process that, and then redeploys, and it only redeploys if that evaluation criteria is met, right? So that's that's what it does. And then we have something called as ML for tracking, which automatically saves all our uh, models, artifacts, and whatever in our artifact store, which is super important, which is super cool. And then you can use MLflow UI to visit all of these things and, and compare your experiments between models. And the deployment pipeline has a caching enabled. So if the, all the pipelines run and, and you're running on a huge compute power, then what 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 will happen? It will use caching, right? If you can also disable the caching, but if you, if you want to enable, then caching really helps to avoid computing powers and cetera over here. So here are the conclusions of it. So basically, you, we we have some models, and then we have the feature importance over here, and basically what it does. And basically what it does, it simply predicts the customer satisfaction and then you have integrated data application like Streamlit which continuously fetch the model service and gives you the prediction as well as we have in, we have seen a lots of tools like MLflow, etc. I haven't showed you the code. The code is in the li link in the description box below in our GitHub so you can visit our understand. So I hope that you really like this uh, video. 
please make sure that you like this and please be sure to give, give it a star in, in our Zen files and give it a star in, in our GitHub repo or whatever and please distribute it to others as well but via your LinkedIn post and Twitter post, whatever whatever you can do, I don't care about that. Um, yeah, so so thanks, thanks for this video. I'll be catching up in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.